right now I'm driving up to Mount Baker. I'm going up with uh, one of my best friends in the world, Sarah Jorgensen, and she's making this film. And uh, we get a snowboard together today, and um, that's what you're going to see in this. Uh, a few clips of that, and, um, uh, and a, a couple of hearts full of gratitude. My name is Ryan Henry Ward, and I'm a snowboarder. I, I love snowboarding. I'm 47 years old, and I'm just getting back into the sport after uh, quite a few years off. Um, I had a back injury uh, from a four-wheeler accident, and it uh, kind of made me think, after that accident, I didn't think I'd ever snowboard again. Um, I, I busted my back up in a few different spots, and it took a lot of years to heal. And now my back's better. I started snowboarding again last year, and it's for me. This is uh, uh, my second season back in, and I'm just having the time of my life with it. And it's I guess I like it because I I feel like it's just an expression of freedom for me, and it's uh, it's all for myself. I get a play, and I get a experience uh, challenges. I, I guess I, it's just really fun. I was attracted to um, snowboarding originally because I was a skateboarder and um, I was obsessed with skateboarding uh, when I was a, a kid and a teenager and I started snowboarding in 1988 when I was 13 years old. Skateboarding at that time had kind of taken over my entire life. I lived and I breathed it. I, I, that's all I did with my friends. It was my whole identity. It was my subculture. Um, I completely identified as a skateboarder. And back in 1988, that meant something different than it does now. Skateboarding was like a criminal activity and it was uh, very much uh, mainstream. world didn't um, approve of it. You know, as the years went on, uh, snowboarding kind of took over skateboarding. I wasn't so much into skateboarding, I was just into snowboarding. And um, it became kind of my new thing, like in my late teens and early 20s. I was just obsessed with it. It was just, my biggest love was snowboarding. And so when I broke my back from that four-wheeler accident, and I had to let go of it. I had to let go of snowboarding and kind of come to the idea that this is something I probably won't be able to do ever again in my life. Um, it was pretty heartbreaking. And, uh, uh, you know, just it caused a deep sadness to let go of something that I, that I loved a lot. And um, as of last year, and this year, getting back into it, um, it's uh, it's like finding love all over again. It's like find it's like uh, it's it's like dating somebody and falling in love or something. It's kind of like that level for me, where this thing that left me has like come back to me in a new way. And I'm a different snowboarder than I used to be. I was, uh, I loved just bombing hills as fast as I could and doing the biggest jumps that I could. And now I'm like this middle-aged man who doesn't really want to get injured. <laughs> um, I have more of a sense of my like uh, um, own death and uh, and, and so the adventure's a little bit different now um, than it was when I was uh, young. Still, it's about the feeling, you know? It's about the feeling that you get um, of expressing your own freedom in the world. And I guess that's what snowboarding is for this old old timer.